హలో డియర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు దేవి కాస్ కామర్స్ అండ్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ అకాడమీ అడ్వాన్స్ అకౌంటింగ్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ చాప్టర్ ఇష్యూ ఆఫ్ షేర్స్ అండ్ డిబెంచర్స్ ఎస్ సో వెన్ ఐఎమ్ టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ దిస్ ఇష్యూ ఆఫ్ షేర్స్ అండ్ డిబెంచర్స్ సో ఐ మస్ట్ రికలెక్ట్ మై కాలేజ్ లైఫ్ సో ఐ వాజ్ ఇన్ బీకామ్ ఫైనల్ ఇయర్ నైన్టీన్ నైంటీ టు నైంటీ వన్ అట్ దట్ పీరియడ్ కర్సేవ రామ జన్మభూమి క్లాసెస్ వాస్ నాట్ ఎట్ ఆల్ హెల్డ్ సో ఐ స్టడీడ్ బై మై ఓన్ సెల్ఫ్ in those days i used to feel that if somebody could have provided free of cost this kind of classes then i would have get it i would have got lots of benefit and i would have scored a lots of score also and my friends all my classmates they went for tuition i was not having money to pay the tuition that is the reason i am giving you all free of cost now anyway so this is one of the important chapter and please remember it is very easy to remember also only the thing is you must be perfect in the journal entries basic journal entries you know na in the beginning days financial accounting we have learned the same journal entries we are just modifying according to the requirement company is issuing shares company is issuing debentures when they are issuing what are the stages according to that we have to pass the journal entries a small introduction is required for you so what is a company a company has to get the capital how do they get the capital they may issue the shares shares means preference shares and equity shares and they may issue even the debentures also through this by issuing shares or debentures the company is accumulating the capital right so when company gets the capital how do they issue the shares generally shareholders whenever they wanted to purchase the shares from the company they won't buy at a time they won't pay the total amount at a time different stages they are going to pay the amount so that is like application whenever they are buying the application few amount they'll pay and allotment some amount they'll pay and first call they'll pay second call or final call they'll pay like different stages wise they are going to pay the amount example a company is issuing shares preference shares or equity shares any shares when company is issuing shares what is the price of the uh, share suppose that it is 10 rupees the price is 10 rupees 10 rupees is the shareholder is going to pay at a time no he will not pay at a time for example at the time of uh, application for buying the application the shareholder has to pay at least 3 rupees per share if we are buying 1000 shares or 1 lakh shares whatever it may be that is multiplied with 10 per share is 10 rupees 10 rupees application for buying the application out of this 10 rupees you have to pay 3 rupees okay then after that what you have to do next to allotment here four stages i have written or otherwise let me explain you first this one only so what is issue of sh- shares you know debentures you know underwriting underwriting means uh, company need not to approach the shareholders directly rather than approaching the shareholders the company is keeping some mediators those mediators are we call them as underwriters 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 means they are going to buy the company shares and later they are going to sell the shares to the shareholders they are the mediators underwriting so the agreement between the underwriters and the company we say it as the underwriting and what underwriters are going to get commission from the company for buying the bulk of shares and it is their guarantee it is their responsibility okay so that is what underwriting and the next point is bonus shares what is bonus shares sometimes company may give you may give the shareholders bonus shares extra shares it is like a gift lots of profits we got let us give some bonus shares to the shareholders sometimes they may give cash sometimes they may give shares if they give shares if they allot shares then that is bonus shares so these are the four points we are going to discuss in this chapter issue of shares issue of debentures and underwriting and bonus shares okay now company can always issue the shares and debentures we know that this sh- shares and debentures can be issued how can they issue at par at par means same price 
suppose the share price is 10 rupees as we are discussing per share is 10 rupees per share 10 rupees 10 rupees only they are issuing that is we call it as a at par same price they are issuing sometimes premium they are issuing at premium premium is more than this 10 rupees where the company is having lots of demand then they may issue the shares at premium actual cost is 10 rupees they may issue for 12 rupees that extra 2 rupees is premium and sometimes company can issue the uh, shares at discount less than the price original price original price is 10 rupees per share they are issuing it at discount say 1 rupee discount or 2 rupees discount 1 rupee discount means 9 rupees they are issuing actual cost is 10 rupees but they are issuing for 9 rupees like remember these points shares or debentures can be talk along with me shares or debentures can be issued at par premium or discount okay now how they are going to pay make the payment first of all allotment money they have to pay then allotment uh, application money sorry first one is application money second one is allotment first call money and second or final call money now we are we are going to discuss these points application money allotment first call second or final call in four stages the shareholder has to pay the shares amount now we are discussing this point share per share value is 10 rupees at the time of application 3 rupees he is paying at the time of next one is allotment at the time of allotment suppose see he has to pay 4 rupees allotment 4 rupees then after that first call first call suppose say 2 rupees how much is left 4 7 8 9 now how much is left 1 rupee second or final call you can say final call 1 rupee so these are the ways to make the payment of shares so this is on installment basis on installment basis the shareholder is going to make the payment of the shares how he is making at the time of application 3 rupees allotment 2 rupees and first call 2 rupees last call 1 rupee so this may vary it this may change sometimes uh, it can be 4 3 2 1 or in any way it can change only example i am giving you are you getting this point so this is about the allotment now we will talk about another thing suppose the application he paid allotment he paid first call second call amount he could not pay shareholders could not pay when he could not pay what he has to do he has to give in advance notice that i am unable to pay so that is we say it as surrender of shares he has to surrender the shares when he is unable to make the payment when he is going to surrender well in advance to the company then whatever amount he has paid that is 3 rupees 4 rupees already paid na, per share so that amount he is going to get back surrender of shares when he surrender the amount is going to get back whereas no intimation to the company application money he paid allotment money he did not paid and the first call second call or final call everything has gone already due dates have gone no intimation from the shareholder in such cases when due date is out and shareholder, shareholder did not inform anything in such cases the company can for feature the shares for feature the shares means the company can take over the total money whatever he has paid the shareholder is not going to get any amount that is for feature of shares for feature of shares suppose say uh, the company got four feature of shares around uh, 10,000 for example 10,000 is four feature of shares what do the company do 10,000 we got it four feature of shares they did not pay so that amount is four featured by the company 10,000 shares each share is 10 rupees it means 10 rupees into 10,000 so we got total 1 lakh rupee 
rupees 1 lakh but shares are here 10000 shares 10000 shares the company can reissue the company can reissue the shares again they can reissue at uh, par premium or discount as new uh, shares the company issues na in the same way the company can issue the four feature share shares also at par at premium or at discount it is their wish now did you get all the points you got it now this one also please remember any shareholder need not to pay the total uh, total shares amount at a time installment basis he has to pay okay on application some amount he has to pay for buying the application and allotment time some amount first call some amount and second or final call we can say it as second or final call some amount sometimes there may not be second or final call only these three are there application allotment second call second call suppose this is 3 rupees 10 rupees over na 3 7 3 4 3 over instead of this 3 rupees they made it means there is no need of second call or final call so in this three attempts only the total amount of the shares is received by the company are you getting it now here what to do when company is issuing the shares you have to remember few entries journal entries very important i'll make you to understand i'll make you to by heart with me very easy now in the books of company we have to pass the journal entries total how many entries eight entries basic entries if you learn basic entries then after that small changes will be there at premium at bonus and at discount some kind of small changes you will find for feature so this kind of changes we have to modify but basic entries are this only okay now how do we make this entries means for every stage application stage two entries will pass at allotment stage two entries first call two entries and final call two entries like total 2 2 2 four stages means you are going to get total eight entries every stage two entries 2 2 2 2 means total eight entries you have to pass this eight entries i'll make you to understand in the books of the company okay when they issue the shares a shares can be Uh, preference shares or equity shares sometimes they'll give you directly a company issued preference shares of so and so or company issued equity shares of so 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 and so then we'll follow accordingly whatever shares they have issued we'll take that shares only but total eight entries journal entries common basic entries now let's see what are those entries first thing is that application when we buy the application okay or when the shareholder buys the application for that two entries we have to pass so these two are for buying the application for application point of view first entry is that bank account data to share application account shareholder is buying this application na when he is buying the application we are getting money so bank account data debit what comes in journal entries beginning days we have learned okay what we are getting cash we don't use directly cash rather than cash we use bank means we assume that all the transactions are made through the bank right so bank account data to share application account so bank account data to share application account first entry narration being application money received we received the application money being application money received share application money received okay you can write being share application money received i wrote only simply application you can write share application money also share application money received what is the entry bank account attached to share application account okay so this is received after that once if we receive this is to be transferred to the share capital this allotment share allotment amount is to be transferred to the share capital account when we want to transfer it the entry comes so the credit to debit side so this we are transferring now so here it was credit side now second entry will write it on the debit side 
ஷேர் அப்ளிகேஷன் அக்கௌண்ட் அட்டாட் டு ஷேர் கேபிட்டல் அக்கௌண்ட் பேங்க் அக்கௌண்ட் அட்டாட் டு ஷேர் அப்ளிகேஷன் அக்கௌண்ட் நான் ஹியர் ஷேர் அப்ளிகேஷன் அக்கௌண்ட் அட்டாட் டு ஷேர் கேபிட்டல் அக்கௌண்ட் வை ஷேர் கேபிட்டல் டிரான்ஸ்ஃபரிங் பீயிங் அப்ளிகேஷன் மணி அப்ளிகேஷன் மணி ஷார்ட் ஃபார்ம் ஐ ஹவ் ரிட்டர்ன் ஓகே பீயிங் அப்ளிகேஷன் மணி டிரான்ஸ்ஃபர் டு ஷேர் கேபிட்டல் ஓகே ஸோ ரிமெம்பர் திஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஒன் ஃபார் அலாட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப்டர் அலாட்மெண்ட் வாட் சாரி அப்ளிகேஷன் ஃபார் அப்ளிகேஷன் தீஸ் டூ என்ட்ரிஸ் தென் ஆஃப்டர் தட் அலாட்மெண்ட் ஃபார் அலாட்மெண்ட் ஆல்சோ டூ என்ட்ரிஸ் so this is for allotment now from here onwards first entry will be due entry what is this due allotment amount is due once if you receive the allotment amount then second entry due entry to be paid allotment amount paid to be paid and paid these are the two entries for the allotment now what is the entry will write share allotment account attached to share capital account first entry so share allotment account attached to share capital account in uh, narration will write being allotment money due being allotment money due whenever there is a due always whatever amount is to be received that will be debited and credit side always remember always remember share capital account okay share allotment account attached to share capital account share allotment attached to share capital account then after that we are receiving this amount this was due when we receive this amount then bank account always debited because we are receiving debit what comes in okay bank account attached how we are getting this through share allotment share allotment is to be credited bank account attached to share allotment account first one was share allotment account attached to share capital account being allotment amount due when we are receiving bank account attached to this share allotment debit to credit side we are writing okay bank account attached to share allotment account narration being allotment money received okay if you understand this rest of the two are based on this only allotment is over next what else first call this is first call third per first call same one just like this share allotment account na now here share first call account rather than allotment we are writing share first call account attached to share capital here also share capital share first capital account attached to share first call first call share first call account attached to share capital account there share allotment account attached to share capital account okay so this is being first call money due being first call money due when we receive first call amount same like this one only bank account attached to how we are receiving from the share first call to share first call account bank account attached to share first call account what do you write narration being first call money received followed same as it is last one also what is this one second call or final call second or final we can say there will be no third call only last or second second oblique final call you can see what we have written earlier share first call account data now here share second call account or you can say final share final call account only first we have transferred into final or second call account share second call account or final call account data to share capital account always share capital will be on the credit side share capital share capital share capital due these three are due second call amount being second call amount due being second or final call money due when we receive same like this one only bank account attached to share second call account or share final call account when we are receiving okay 
bank is always debited remember bank is always debited from where we are getting that we are writing on the credit side share allotment account share first call account share second call or final call account this will be on the credit side very easy to remember only first thing you have to remember bank account attached to share application account the share application account is to be transferred to the uh, capital account so this is on the debit side share application account attached to share capital account bank account attached to say bank account attached to share what is this application account share application account attached to share capital account next onwards whatever amount is to be due first allotment account attached to share capital and uh, third one is that share first call account attached to share capital account share final uh, final call account attached to share capital account this one and when you are receiving bank account attached to share allotment or otherwise bank account attached to share first call account bank account attached to share second call or final call account that's all this is enough want to take screenshot yes this is enough today now what you have to do understand this whatever i said have a have a good understanding and by heart understand this and by heart it any time if i ask you what is general entry you should be in a position to say this general entry eight entries if suppose no third second call or final call then only you will find six entries only as i said so this is three 3 4 3 means there is no final call then in such case you will find only six entries am i clear next class will work out few problems only simple general entries we have to pass at the most five balance sheet we have to prepare okay so prepare well and get back to me by the way in advance accounting already i taught uh, related to the admission retirement partnership partnership death of the partner insolvent of partner everything i have covered already and also uh, another one uh, valuation of goods Va valuation of goodwill and valuation of shares this chapter also already covered that link is given on the description box first link and also in the comment box i'll i'll try to give you or you can find it in the playlist also by the way everything is free of cost na please share with your friends let them to get the benefit it's easy very easy nothing to worry only the thing is you have to get an understanding a proper way of teaching if you find it you will go ahead okay don't forget to share practice well see you in the next class good luck